Hey guys, let me minimize OBS real quick. So, I recently got this app to edit videos because I've been wanting to do a little bit of a uh, commentary video on that battle I have with my cousin. So I looked at uh, Movie Maker, H or HD Movie Maker, the free version I had on my PC already. And there were some features that were locked behind a paywall. And I looked how much it was. It was on sale for $10. And I thought, if it has these uh, features that I've been wanting, and uh, this might be a good investment. Because I've honestly been wanting a better video editing software. I've been wanting to move on to more sophisticated editing softwares besides the movie maker software that I'd grown up with. And that's exactly what I thought this was because I thought it was a newly released version of movie maker that um, was more sophisticated and had, what's the word? It had editing software features that were among the ranks of like maybe After Effects or something, I don't know. I just wanted simple stuff like cropping videos so I could do some of those like quick zoom in effects that every YouTuber does. So I bought the I bought the I bought the product. It was ten dollars and I thought this is perfect. I have a great um I have a great software now that I can use to further my YouTube career. Because I plan to do this as a side hustle along with my teaching career when I get to be a teacher. But I was gravely mistaken because this program is the worst piece of garbage video editor I've ever used. Now, looking at this HUD right now, this looks pretty easy to use. Uh, you see here we have the uh, project stuff and then we have quick tools. Now, quick tools to me means that all of these are features within the main editor, which you would access here. And you would go to these quick tools, like if you just wanted to do one thing for a short clip that you were going to post to YouTube that you didn't want to spend a ton of time on with the main editor. But this is completely wrong, because only... Four of these, that would be trim video, split video, and uh, enhance video, and slow motion. And slow motion is only in the in one of the other things, the other tools. So this is a. Uh, this is how it works. These are different standalone editors. You have four going down, five across, so 20 minus one. You have 19 different editors plus the main one. That's 20 editors. And they gave me the flimsiest excuse as to why it was like that. Okay, let me go into something I was trying to edit. I was trying to edit this battle. I wanted to crop the video to just be my game screen because I hadn't set up a layout for battling yet because I had to make new a completely new scene because I wanted to change from YouTube or from Twitch to YouTube for streaming. But you go into more tools, there is split video, that's not what I wanted. Trim video, that was what I had wanted first, which did work. But it was kind of complex because instead of trimming points of the video that you would want to, to get rid of, like the Apple editor, the first one I used for trimming videos, there was two little bars and you would slide them to the video length that you had wanted. And that would be the trim. But you add two trimmers 
The system is you add trimmers. Let me show you real quick. Let it load a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Just looking at my... Okay. Let's say you wanted to trim the video to like, let's say, right here and right here. Here's what you do. Now, this isn't the video you are keeping. This is the video you are trimming out. And it's not that complicated to understand. You just do that. You do it again. Then just click preview. And then... Okay. So, you get the idea. This would be the video you were keeping. Not that hard to understand. But... What I had wanted was cropping video. I went into edit video naturally. You have general, which, shut up. You had general, which was only <clears throat> speed of the video and these two things. Only uh, transitions, closed captions, adding photos, and adding sound clips. Okay. I tried enhance video. These are... This was nowhere close to what I wanted. This is just changing the filter on the video. Okay. Then I tried right clicking. There is no right click menu anywhere within the software none anywhere I went to edit soundtrack because I thought okay I'll just live with it being like that and I'll just just record the voiceover I go to record voiceover I clicked record you see this bar this is the sound recording bar and it's supposed to measure the level of your voice and what your microphone is using. But there's no clear indication which microphone it's using. So I don't know if it's using my webcam microphone or my actual microphone that I use for actual streaming that I got for my birthday once. And you can see here, it didn't record any sound. If you look right in this little area, you can see no wavelengths. So no sound was recorded. I close it. I went back. Arrange clips. I was desperate at this point. I figured, okay, I can just go into Audacity. No problem. And I figured, well, the first thing I tried to do was see if there was any kind of settings thing that I could set a preset preferred microphone like you can do with OBS, which I, you can do. But there's no settings menu anywhere. No right-click menus. There's nothing here. Privacy policy, get support. The support website is complete bollocks because you can't, because they don't offer any sort of user guide. And that's another point I want to get into. There is no user guide for this convoluted piece of crap software. You can't look at any user guides no one has posted a user guide so there's not a official user guide and there's no community made user guide so basically you have to figure out all this convoluted garbage on your own so let's say you wanted to make like a, a cut like a crop cut here's what you do you click crop video and you pick one of your files, like your video files, and they have to be separate clips. So let's say you wanted to do a little short, like one second cut in between your clips. Well, you have to make a completely separate clip for that in the main editor, or maybe trim video, whichever you want to do. And then you save that video, and then 
you go back into the editor, you crop that one, then you go back into the main editor and add that clip. And then you're still not done because you have to do that. Let's say if you want to do that three times, you have to do that whole process three different times every single time you want to do it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to save the video. I'm going to find a different editor. Or no, I was going to try that method, actually. That's not what I was calling to do. I was going to save the video. No, I don't want to save the changes. Look at this jar gargantuan file size. This is the default file size. Over 6 gigabytes. For contrast, the video I ripped this from, the stream VOD, was over an hour. And that was 1 gigabyte. This clip, this battle, was 12 minutes 47 seconds. In other words, you're asking me to download a 6 gigabyte file for 12 minutes from a one gigabyte file that was an hour. So naturally, I'm gonna go into Chrome, see if that works, and if it doesn't work in time, I'm just gonna read out the email they sent me because I sent them a feedback email. You know what, I'm just, wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna read my feedback email. This is from, V3 T A or T apps three uh, whatever you get the idea. It's their support email. The developer is called V3 T apps. So it doesn't even seem like it's run by Microsoft anymore. All right. So here's the message I sent. Please add a user guide and the ability to change your preferences. I see no place to set a default recording device, and I don't know if the recording, if the voiceover is recording or not, because what looks like a gain mon monitor bar doesn't like, I did not mean to put like, doesn't go up at all when I use it. There is no tutorial, and very few of the quick tools can be used while editing a project. Very confusing and counterintuitive, and I'm honestly beginning to regret my purchase. They sent back to me pretty quickly. I sent the email at around, let's say, 7 o'clock while I was eating. And they got back to me at 7.24. They say, hello, Russell. I used an alias. Thank you for your feedback. FYI, the sound recording bar does go, quote unquote, go up if the input sound level is high enough. If you did not see that, perhaps the sound level of your recording device is too low. Please move closer to your mic or increase the gain level in your PC's recording settings. Let's break down that first paragraph. FYI. You don't say FYI to people if you're a professional first off because that makes you sound like a snobby prick. You say FYI to people when you're looking down at them or when they said something really stupid, which I didn't. The sound recording bar does, quote-unquote, go up, as if they, again, as if they're mocking me for complaining that about an issue that I didn't see that I was very polite and direct about. Going further into the paragraph, if you did not see that, perhaps the sound level of your recording device is too low. This is not true. I'm using the microphone right now. It works very well with OBS. The reason it didn't sound as loud was because I had music going on in my stream. And it was a little louder than I had anticipated. Which later I tried to turn down before inevitably I closed the uh, browser that was playing the music. Because I just, it was starting to lag out my stream. Please move closer to your mic or increase the gain level in your PC's recording settings. I was just as far from my mic as I am right now. I am the same distance away from my mic as I am currently. 
Anyway, regarding the quick tools, this is the second paragraph. Yes, some of them are only available as standalone tool. Their grammar is not the greatest, but I'm not going to dog them for that. However, they are the tools that are not frequently used. Bullcrap. Because lots of people use crop video, even if they're casually using it. For example, the video stabilization or video collage. Again, not true. Plenty of casual users of video editors use the video collage functions when they use other more powerful, more easy to use video collage apps. If you've ever seen acapella on the App Store or your Android Play Store, that is one example of people casually using a video collage to do something with a video. That is our design decision to keep the main project tools as simple as possible. Here's my solution. Give us an advanced tools option. So people who want to use this for easier uh, video editing within the main editor, they can use that option to more seamlessly edit their videos. And even then, that doesn't make any sense because there are some tools that are very simple to use that aren't in the main editor. And there are some tools that are counterintuitive, like the trim tool that is in the main editor. But they said it was supposed to be simple and easy to use. But this is the most contrived, convoluted um, video editor I've tried to learn and understand. And with no user guide, that was very difficult and very frustrating. The worst part is they don't even offer refunds. They don't offer refunds. So I wasted $10 on this stupid app. It's not even worth $1 let alone the $10 it was on sale, let alone the full price of $14.99, and that's not even including tax. Long story short, don't get this app. Don't get this app. If you really need to use it, use the free version until you can get a way better app. Find a way to get the old Windows Movie Maker and use that. Because that is way more simpler to use, has better functions, and has every tool in the main editor. Not some weird sub-menu system that has all the other tools in it. That's it. Just wanted to rant about that. Uh, if you enjoyed, I guess, this pseudo-review type of video, uh, leave a like and subscribe. I plan to stream more of my shiny hunt today, and I hope to see you all there.